hello there and uh, happy new year it's the uh, 5th of january when i'm filming this and uh, unfortunately the uk has just gone into the third lockdown which is uh, really rather unfortunate anyway i've come out here just to um, polish up this sunburst guitar because i'm going to be putting it on ebay in the next few days so uh, i'll put a notification up on the instagram page which is uh, footsteps guitars uh, and let you know when that's going up uh, but I noticed that there was some marks on the fretboard and uh, yeah I didn't like those so I'm actually going to just sand these out and of course sanding out marks on the fretboard once you've got all the frets in is um, not a job that you really want to do if you can avoid it so uh, I thought I'd just give uh, do a short video of how I tackle this problem uh, in case you come across it yourselves. I'm using a piece of 240 grit sandpaper which I've just just to cut a strip off and uh, just put that on my finger and I'm just now going to rub it backwards and forwards uh, with the grain just to take out the marks if I can. Then with my nail I'm trying to get it as close as I can to the to the fret. Coming back this way. Okay, fortunately I can still see a little bit there. Okay, so now I'm gonna to switch to if I can find it some 320. Okay, that looks alright. And now I've got some 600. And finally, polish it up with some 1200 grit. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to rub some uh, finishing oil in. I'm going to dry that off as much as I can, get as much off. And I'm just going to go over it with the 1200 grit again with the oil on and that now is looking pretty good polish with the cloth okay I'm pleased with how that's looking so I'm going to let that just dry off a little bit and I can get ready to do some photographs now then, for these photographs, I don't have any background paper, but what I do have is a couple of uh, furniture boards with a oak effect. So I think um, I think they're going to do. Uh, we can get some nice shots on this. So ideally, when you're photographing something like a guitar with a, a gloss finish, you want a nice soft light. Now. In this workshop, these um, LED lights that I've got, oh, flap it up there, are pretty good. They're pretty soft. So it's a nice, soft, even lighting, and I've got it all the way down the workbench. So I think I'm going to do a shot pretty much like this. I'll just shoot this on the, an iPad. So I apologise for the quality of it because I'm actually using my camera to take the photo. But. Um, so, I'm just going to do that shot. Now I've adjusted the camera, so now I'm just fo focusing on this section of the body, just as a sort of a nice close-up of that. And uh, so I'm going to take that photo, and uh, I'm also now going to flip that over. Um, there we go. Just do the same on the back as well because this is going to go on eBay I'm also doing a shot with uh, a new set of strings which I'm going to put on the guitar in a minute and um, the Inspire Travel Guitar user manual which just gives an explanation of how the thing works the adjustments you can make the preamp and all that so uh, do a nice shot of that with it all together Let's get that sorted. Okay, so I've got the strings on 
Uh, now I'm going to do some close-up shots. The first thing I'm going to do is of the nut and the headstock. Now the, the width of the nut on this guitar is only 42. Um, so it's quite narrow so it, it would be ideal for people with slightly smaller hands than I've got. I mean I can play it okay but it's uh, it would be better if you got a slightly smaller hands. But um, anyway I'm going to do a shot of that first. Good that's great and then uh, I'm going to turn the guitar around. One of the things I like to do is to show the action of the guitar at the 12th fret so I've got my uh, action ruler here and I'm using the um, metric version so I'm just going to hold that behind the string and I'll do a shot there. Hey so thank you for watching this uh, what was unashamedly an advert for this guitar as I say it's going to go onto eBay I'm hoping to get about 350 pounds for this guitar I put a lot of effort into uh, building it and I made about three videos on the sort of finishing of this guitar uh, and I'll put a link to uh, those videos hopefully up there somewhere um, anyway it's uh, hopefully going up on eBay in the next few days as I say look out on my Instagram page which is uh, footsteps guitars and um, I'll let you know all the details if you're interested in these sort of guitars please send me a message via Instagram as well I'd uh, love to hear from you anyway thank you very much for watching uh, look out for my uh, use what you've got challenge build the next video is coming out on Sunday uh, today is I've no idea it's the 5th of January, whatever day that is. Anyway, I'll see you soon. Take care.